Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. How's it going? Good? Good. I'm sure every vlogger has made that joke where they talk to the camera and say, how's it going? Good. And then answer back with good. I think that's just a thing everyone does. So anyways, I'm going to talk to you about two things in particular today. One is, I know you guys saw it in the background there, this vividly bright green thing that says, Prado games. I accidentally on purpose put it in the vlog because it's fun to it's fun to sneak things like that in the vlog because you know the avid watchers the people that kind of look beyond the face get a little treat. I, I, I like to do that every so often. Yes I am starting a gaming channel. I've already filmed five episodes with Saskia. We were playing uh, Amnesia uh, a War Machine a machine for pigs that's what it is just because let's be honest let's be honest I'm gonna play games I mean, I could have a thousand things to do, and I'll still play games. And that's okay. You know when you have a thousand things to do and you play games, you have that feel of guilt. You're like, oh, I should be doing those that giant list. I should be writing that essay. I should be doing my homework, but instead I'm playing video games. Well, if you turn video games into, like, a channel, you can kind of justify it to yourself. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, because I'm going to play it anyways, and you know what? Why not? Because I think... I could be funny at times, but Sask is really the funniest one. So it's more of an excuse for me to show her being ridiculous when we play video games. So I am going to start it. I registered the channel and I think three, four, five, six, seven, a bunch of you guys already subscribed because you guys saw it and you went and that's cool. I don't know when the, when the videos are going to go up, but they'll go up soon because it's not like a super priority. I want to get a whole bunch in the bank and then just kind of release them but I think it's fun to do. Plus it gives me a chance to make cool like after effect kind of things in the background, which I like that. Now what a lot of people thought is, ooh, this is the secret project. The secret project Sask and I are working on is not the gaming channel. It is actually something different because why just do one thing when you can do two things? Uh, the, so the secret project is actually almost ready to be launched. We have 42 people working on it. 42 people. Uh, right now we're just getting the section of designers. We're getting a bunch of designers to design particular things. Um, and then we're going to get a bunch of other people to do a bunch of other things. And then it will be ready to go. So it's it's a big thing. It's not just like, you know, it's not a video, it's not a channel. It is beyond the scope of videos and channels. And I'm really excited. And I know the people who are working on it are really excited. And they're ridiculously talented. Like, half the reason why I find it's really cool to uh, reach out because you know they say collaboration is the best because what I can do I think is cool but when I think of something I'm like hey this is a really cool idea I like it and then someone anyone is like what if you do this and it's like oh I didn't think about that so the more people you get on a project the better up to a point because then too many cooks spoil the spoil the soup as they say um, so I'm excited because I got these 42 people are very talented and they're m far more talented than me because I don't really specialize in one thing I just do a lot of things so we've got people that specialize and the stuff they can do is great and I can't wait to get that out so there's the two things gaming channel which you can subscribe to I'll make Saskia put a link in the description below and the uh, secret project which it'll be done soon I don't know when like these things aren't like one week because I'm going to say that and then I'm going to go over the time because I'm going to be picky about something. So I know that going in and I'm just going to, it'll be done when it's done, but it won't be too long because I don't want to draw things out. So anyways, that's a small update. I wanted to just talk with you guys for a while. So I'm on a Greyhound bus. I am heading home. It's like a 12 hour ride, which is, you know, that's a, that's a blast. Fun weekend, got to hang out with people, and then I go home and go back to life. I think that's the shortest I've ever been in America, which is funny, but yeah. Hello vlog, I've been put in charge of the Canon Buffer Festival video. It's a video that we shot a couple days ago um, at the tiny little theater, and I just finished the edit. And the best part about this video is that in the script, Corey talks a lot about his love for Canon and like all of the videos that we've made and all of the things that we've done as Apprentice A. And because we vlog every single day and because we have for the last two years, I was able to go through and pull clips from like all of our previous videos, and it was super easy to like get all the B roll figured out. So I will show you a part of the video. Here's the edit. It's uh, not very complicated at all. This is all of Corey's footage here. 
So that's just if I turn this off and then scrub through, you'll just see Corey talking. But then when I turn it back on, you can see he's like, that's the Europe announcement video because he's talking about the whole team. That's like random videos from random people because he's talking about YouTube videos. There's a logo. And here he's talking about all the things that we've done and the fact that we love everything canon. So I made an export and now Corey's gotta watch it, Crowder's gotta watch it, Canon's gotta watch it, and then hopefully they prove everything and then we can upload a final export very, very soon for you guys to see so that you know what this awesome, awesome video is about. Hi, um, so if you've ever been on the internet these days, you may know of something called a graphics interchange format, which is a way to communicate with people through moving, looping pictures. People really seem to like them. People seem to think they're interesting. I myself like them a lot. And so I thought I would learn more about them and learn how to make them possibly. So I have been working out how to make a graphics interchange format on on Photoshop. So down there is my timeline and every little sketch that I've made is a layer on the timeline and I've set them up so I've staggered them out and then you just sort of figure out how long you want each frame to stay present and then you save it as a graphics interchange format. Optimally you want it to loop forever so choose the looping forever mode and then you get something that looks kind of like that i mean he's he's a tiny little guy but he's doing his little jig he likes where he's at he's got the music in his heart so that graphics interchange format took me about 15 minutes to make and it's just about 11 jpegs all saved together into a graphics interchange format and that's kind of how i've been spending my day just sort of teaching myself how to make those things and experimenting with different ways to use it. Um, I really like learning different ways to use Photoshop for things other than just photos and photo editing. But yeah, that's been my night. So I hope you enjoyed my lesson about graphics interchange formats. Give me daily vlogs I want them in my subscription box I wonder who might drop by Even though sometimes it's Canada outside So don't go away, we're here every day It's not Apprentice A, it's Apprentice A Hey, 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 hey Home is where the vlog is